Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris, and today we're taking a look at the brand new U6 in-wall from Ubiquiti. This device just came out of early access late last week. And so in this video, we're gonna take it out of the box, see what's inside. We're gonna set it up for use with Unify, and then I'm going to replace my existing UAP in-wall HD with the latest version of this in-wall access point. All right, so before we get started, if you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure you like and subscribe to Crosstalk Solutions for two to three brand new videos every single week. And for all of the latest updates, make sure you follow me on Twitter at CrosstalkSOL. Okay, so let's pop this thing out of the box. The U6 in-wall is, of course, Wi-Fi 6, which means that it has some features that allow for more client density. In fact, this device is capable of 300 plus concurrent clients. Now, the form factor of the U6 in-wall is made to fit over a single gang electrical outlet box. Ooh, look at this thing. Whoa. And it comes with all the hardware that you need to make that happen. Now, originally, these in-wall devices were kind of designed for like a hotel environment or a dorm room environment, someplace where you might have a lot of these in relatively close proximity to each other. The output of these devices was not quite as powerful as some of the other access points that are in the Unify lineup. However, this one is absolutely as powerful as some of the other devices, such as the U6 Pro. It features 4x4 multi-user MIMO with OFDMA in the 5 gigahertz and 2x2 multi-user MIMO in the 2.4 gigahertz range. The max power of this device is 22 dBm in 2.4 gigahertz and 26 dBm in 2.5 gigahertz. So taking a look around this device, it has a total of five ethernet ports. In the back, there is a PoE in, again, keeping in mind that this is typically meant to be installed onto a single gang electrical box. So you'd have PoE power into the back of the device. And then on the bottom, there are four additional ports. Three of these are standard gigabit ethernet ports. And this first port right here is PoE out. It'll do 802.3 AF PoE out for powering up something like a surveillance camera or a voice over IP phone. Now the device itself can be powered up with PoE in and you can use standard PoE 802.3 AF to power up the device. But if you optionally want to use the PoE out on the bottom of the device, then you have to power it with the higher powered PoE Plus, also known as the 802.3 AT PoE Plus standard. So PoE Plus in gets you PoE out, PoE in gets you no PoE output at the bottom. This device is not rated to be weatherproof. It is for indoor use, but the operating temperatures are minus 30 to 60 degrees Celsius or minus 22 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is, it does have a pretty good range of operating temperatures available. Also in the box, we have a back plate that is metal. Uh, this goes on your single gang electrical box and it has a bunch of different holes for different screw patterns. And we also get a mounting kit or just a kit that has four screws as well as uh, this little hook device that's meant to uh, get it unlocked from the uh, back plate here. So essentially it does snap in and there's a little sort of push button thing right here that actually clicks and locks it into place so that it is locked on the back plate. And in order to get it off, you need this extra little tool to pop it off like so. Next step is to adopt the U6 in wall into Unify. And I have it plugged into power of ethernet and there is a solid white light right on the top of the device, which means that it is ready for adoption. In Unify, we can see that the device has been found. So I'm simply gonna click on it and I'm going to click adopt. This is going to adopt the device into Unify as well as update it to whatever the latest version of firmware is for the version of Unify that I'm running, which is version 7.1.66.0. All right, going back to devices, while this is updating, uh, since I'm gonna be replacing the UAP in-wall that I have in my family room, I'm actually gonna click on that device and we're gonna say, Config, we're gonna scroll down to manage device and I'm gonna choose move this device to default. When I'm working with Unify equipment and I'm not actually unadopting a device, I kind of use the default site in Unify as a placeholder for any equipment that's not currently in production, right? So rather than completely unadopted from Unify 
and then have to sort of factory reset it and readopt it later, I can always plug my old UAP in-wall HD back in at some point in the future, and I know that it's in my default site. This is something that you can do with multi-site Unify installs, such as the hosted Unify that I have here. It's not something that you'd be able to do with like the UDM Pro or the UDM SE or any of the Dream Machine uh, devices because they are not multi-site. So move device to default, we're gonna say yes. And now I'm effectively taking the old version of this device out of my Unify network and just sort of putting it in that placeholder default site. Okay, and as I did that, it looks like the U6 in wall has finished adoption. So I'm gonna click on it here. The first thing I wanna do is change the name. We're just gonna say U6 in wall and save that. And then for now, we're just gonna leave everything else absolutely default. We can see that's IP address and it looks like it's not updating firmware, so it must be on a good version. Okay, so all of that being said, the next thing we need to do is uninstall my UAP in-wall HD and replace it with this U6 in-wall. I'm gonna go ahead and do that next. Inwall has been installed and it is operational. Installation was super simple. I just pulled off the old one, put the new one in. However, there are a number of differences between the UAP Inwall HD and the U6 Inwall. So let's talk about those just a little bit. First of all, this is the back plate from the UAP Inwall HD. It is plastic, whereas the backplate on the U6 in-wall is metal. So there's an improvement there, uh, upgrading from a plastic backplate to a metal backplate. The backplates themselves are different sizes, okay? So the U6 in-wall is just a little bit wider than the older UAP in-wall HD, so you cannot use the same backplate with both devices. You do have to replace that. The U6 in-wall also has a little bit of a streamlined design because there's only two pieces. You have the back plate and you have the actual access point. Whereas with the older UAP in-wall HD, you had the back plate, then you had the access point, then you had a separate cover that went on the access point. And then if you also purchased one of these other in-wall covers, that went on the top of that. So. This cover aside, there were three pieces involved in the UAP in-wall HD, and there are only two pieces with the U6 in-wall, so I do like that a lot. One thing that is missing from the U6 in-wall, however, is the security screw. So with this UAP in-wall HD, there was a small Torx security screw that screws in in the sort of upper right-hand side as you look at the device. Now, I personally did not use that security screw because I'm installing it at home. I'm not afraid that someone's gonna steal it. And I put it in a location that was right up against a wall. I had no way to really get that security screw uh, screwed in anyways. But if you're in like a hotel or dorm room environment, it would be nice to still have that extra little added layer of protection, whereas now all you get with the U6 in-wall is the little click lock on top of the device, which, you know, a paper clip or a fork or something can easily get that right off the wall. As far as the additional covers, so this is the black cover, but they also had a wood one and a camo skin. They had all these different skins for the UAP in-wall HD. They do not have skins for the U6 in-wall, not even in the early access store. So I don't know if this is something, an idea that they've given up on. Maybe they just didn't sell a lot of these. And this one, since the U6 in-wall is a little bit wider, this one does not fit onto the U6 in-wall. So will they have skins? I really don't know. I'd like to see them though, because I kind of like that it was this black aesthetic on my wall as opposed to just the you know standard sort of ubiquity white. All right, so there you have it, a look at the new U6 in-wall for Unify Network, and links to that product is down below. Now, the U6 in-wall was just released recently, so there is high demand for this product. It is constantly sold out, but keep your eye on uinotified.net 
be notified when it comes into stock. That's exactly how I got mine. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name is Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, and thank you so much for watching.